Riverside now has a new test recording feature. After you enter the Riverside Studio, before you do your actual recording, you can now run a test recording and check everyone's microphone and video inputs. Make sure everyone looks and sounds great so your recording goes off without a hitch. Here's how to use the new Run Test Recording feature. I'm going to enter one of my Riverside Studios here. In the lobby, make sure to choose the proper microphone, headphone, and video camera. Once all your guests have arrived in the studio, hover over the record button at the bottom and then click Run Test Recording. You'll see the countdown like usual, and once that hits zero, each of you should say I'm testing my mic. So now this is me, Steven. I am testing my mic and camera so I can check it in the recording. I'm testing my mic and camera. And the test recording should finish pretty shortly. It will actually upload the test recording for each of your guests, and then you can preview it live here in the studio before you jump into your actual recording. Once it's fully uploaded, you can test the recordings right here, see what it looks and sounds like, and you can click the input and output settings and actually check to see which devices were used during the recording. You can scroll down and do the same for your guests, preview their audio and video, click input and output, and you can see their devices as well. If you'd like to run another test recording before starting the actual recording, you can do that as many times as you'd like. Just roll over the record button and then select Run Test Recording. And that's our new Run Test Recording in the Riverside Studio. If you'd like to learn more about Riverside and our new text-based editing where you can edit your content just by deleting the text like it's a Word document, plus AI transcripts available in 100 languages every time you record with Riverside, check out this video above or the link in the description. Also, subscribe to the channel. We have lots of content on how to build a video podcast setup, automating your podcast workflow, and why you should start adding video to your podcast and publishing that to YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.